Welcome back to the channel, and it's crazy that they already cap it for the PS5 Pro. PS5 Pro ain't even out yet, but they're bringing up the, they they throwing shots at Xbox because the PS5 Pro has a shit price of seven hundred dollars because a custom collector's edition Xbox console it was six hundred. Do you not see that motherfuckers a custom Xbox Series X, bro? Xbox Series X is five hundred. It's custom and it has two terabytes in it. So they charge 600 with a custom controller to come with it. Yeah, collectors are going to buy the collector's edition thing. It's $100 more than a base one. But Sony is coming in. They slapped $100 worth of, 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 of storage in there. They said they up the GPU. We don't really know by how much. They never really said how. They're like, oh, look, our GPU is bigger. Never really said how much. They talk about the performance. He say like, oh, with a huge performance advantage over what? The PS5? They say like, oh, look, it's, it's, it's double the, the power of the PS5. But we ain't seen it. Because in those trailers, them motherfuckers looked exactly the same. We didn't know how good it was running. He just said it was running better. We didn't see if it was running better. We didn't see the resolutions they were pushing. Because he never said all the games are going to be 4K60. He didn't say that. And you know he said that he didn't say it on purpose. Because you know the motherfucking games are not 4K60. They might not be 720p60. They might be closer to 1440p60. That super sampling resolution that PlayStation made. That might help them a little bit more. They might be fucking injecting a 1080p image to scale that motherfucker to 4K. Maybe it's a 1440p one. But you know damn well the motherfuckers wasn't running 4K60. He did. He would have said that shit if it was. I mean, how much of a performance boost is it really? We don't fucking know. And you're already glazing it. Say 700 isn't that bad. 700 is fucking horrible. The disc drive is gone. The, the disc drive is another hundred dollars. So any niggas that want to put a disc in their console, another hundred. You can't. You can't have a disc with this motherfucker, bro. Xbox still got their disc drive in it. And it's completely fucking custom. Completely custom. What the fuck are we on about? Niggas really got a cap for the PS5 Pro that quickly. They really got a cap for it that quickly that they bring up a custom Xbox to compare it to a PS5 Pro that's poorly priced. Knowing that motherfuckers should be $600 too. If it was $600, motherfuckers would buy the PS5 Pro real quick. But it's $7, bro. You look at that price. At $100, if you want a disc drive, you might as well go get a PC. And you could probably download every PlayStation game that comes to PC for free. And all you got to do is look on YouTube on how to do it. This is not even, like, it's getting bad out here. Because $500 consoles are, are exactly where they should be. And yeah, it's probably getting harder to hit that price point. But if you're trying to go PC level with pricing, your consoles are going to lose every time. Because any gamer that want a game for real should be should have a PC. Unless you want the convenience of a console, like I do. And you buy a console too. But there's no way I'm not spending 700 for a console. I know people's like, oh, it's for the enthusiasts. Like people that have like high class 40 series cards. I have a great ass 40 series card in here. It costs almost as much as a PS5 Pro. It's definitely better than a PS5 Pro. But I'm not buying a PS5 Pro. Why the fuck would I buy a PS5 Pro? When I can literally buy that graphics card. People's like, oh, people that buy, you know, elite controllers and all that. Nigga, I got an elite controller. It's custom. Do you think I'm spending 700 on a PS5 Pro? No. No. The Like, those things don't correlate. And a lot of people are saying, like, oh, it's for the hardcore gamer, for the enthusiast. I'm a hardcore gamer. Nah, I'm spending 700 on a console for nothing. For nothing. And it's crazy that they think them showing a custom Xbox for a hundred dollars more than the original one is enough to see it say that oh the ps5 pro's pricing isn't that bad it's fucking bad bro it's fucking bad and did they remove the m.2 because they could have just put that motherfucker at one terabyte and you could just slap your m.2 in from your playstation 5 
put it at 600 sony you're not even thinking bro they're just trying to meet profit margins and that's the sad part about it when you see the 700 dollars price you know it's about profit margins you know it's to make the business look better it's not for the gamer is for the business to look better to the shareholders so they stock can go up because their stock is absolute garbage compared to xboxes but we're gonna end it right here so thank god for like subscribe you new sony's trying to make some money with this they're not trying to improve gaming you saw the three features that they showed the gpu that's not a feature buddy every gaming console has a gpu in it yours might be better that's fine the the ray tracing suite you know devs are not using hard rate hardware based ray tracing because they would use it on xbox if they did and they choose not to and the super sampling for playstation third party developers aren't going to use yours bro they're going they're going to slap fsr2 on there and they're going to call it a fucking day so we what are we actually talking about when it comes to this tech is going to be wild but we're going to have to wait and see when the console actually drops in november to see what the performance actually is